Look at this weird game that I'm playing. What is this game? What is this weird game that I just picked? I'm just laying here. What's the point of this game? It's not having it. That's me, and I'm just laying there, chilling. Game. 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 Heavy Heavy on. On. Heavy on. This game is called Shadowrun. Okay? It's an old game. Came out in 2007. I'm just getting up to it. Just started playing it right there as a life tree. It helps you stay alive. And it doesn't matter whether the enemy puts up a life tree or your team puts up a life tree. Guess what? If you're near that life tree, you get to stay alive. Now, this game is so in-depth and it's so crazy. But the thing about this game, and it's online only, you can play offline with bots, kind of like combat training. See, right there, that slows you down. You can get stuck in that. And what we're trying to do in this game is get this this uh, scepter right there and take it back to our our base. It's it's a, a futuristic... Uh, what is it capture the flag but anyway this game right here is so focused on teamwork and working together as a team to get the job done that is crazy um i heard i came about this i was on youtube the other day and and um one of the commentators that i that i listened to they were talking about it and i was like what is this game saying they were saying that it was really really competitive online and if you're really good at this game then you, you should be, you know, you like creme de la creme, kind of, top of the line. And I was like, hmm, this sounds really interesting. I started doing research about this game, and I found out that they had it at my local GameStop for about $4. Well, GameStop is having to buy two, get one free, so I ended up paying nothing for this game. It was it was four forty nine, And uh, I was surprised that this game was that cheap. It came out in 2007, but... Uh, you can tell by the graphics that it's pretty old, but still, it's a fun game, and it's got people still playing it. And you get certain things that you can do, and if anybody is familiar with Counter-Strike, then you understand this game, because before the match starts, uh, or before the round starts, you have a chance to, to buy your gun and buy your abilities. Now, see, you've the four blocks up there, they are your gun your magic your tech ability or whatever and i have one that constricts the movement of the, the enemy or yourself you get into it i have resurrect because like i said this game focuses on teamwork and i like to have my team so what i do is i use resurrect to bring my uh, fallen friend back to life and i have smoke which makes you semi-invisible but you can't use any weapons and that's just a, a real quick way to get away from a gunfight you can also have warp which warps you about eight feet ahead of you and you can warp through walls and everything and i have a uh, what is that a submachine gun that i'm using for a gun you can have a katana too and you can run around and just slice people which is pretty cool if you could look on the screen you see the 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 yellow people those are letting me know that my teammates are down and i i can resurrect them but the point of this game is teamwork, 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 teamwork. Once you build up enough money to buy Resurrect, it's... I was reading online, and it's like, if you don't do that, then people really get pissed off at you. And you can a actually have team kills. You can kill your team. And after every round, there was a vote for somebody to get kicked off of the team because of their team kills, or they just weren't pull pulling their weight. This is a lot of what I would like to see in games more like uh, Call of Duty. Battlefield has a teamwork uh, blueprint in it, whereas if you have Rush and Conquest, if you play as a really, if everybody comes together, you can win the game. But it's not really as good as it is in this game. So I think that the makers of Battlefield and Call of Duty can take a lot of cues from this game and incorporate it into their game because there, there are team-based objective games, domination, capture the flag, demolition, search and destroy, things like that. And of course, you have Rush and Conquest and, and regular team deathmatch in both games, uh, the Rush and Conquest, of course, of Battlefield 3. But I like to see these types of, of games like this one, Shadowrun, where you have people who actually expect you to pull your own weight and if you don't then you get voted off the team and they have these abilities that just help you and help your team win there was an overwhelming sense of community and everybody wanted to help each other win so that 
the the team itself can win the game overall to win the majority of the matches and win the match overall and that's amazing that was a really good feeling and i i, I really like that and what you saw me doing a couple minutes ago a couple seconds ago was i was shooting the body if you shoot the body into it, it disappears then they can't resurrect it and that's just another way of winning but this video is just about over if you can go out and buy this game on xbox it's an xbox exclusive it's also on the pc uh but it's shadow run like i said it was five dollars so you're really not you don't have that much to lose and it's a really good game i'm uh i'm using my new blue snow snowball microphone so the air the audio might be kind of off i'm gonna tweak it a little bit if it is but let me know if you played this game or if you would like to see some of the things in this game implemented in call of duty and battlefield all right i'm not having it in the game caviar studios and i'm out